ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் ஐ எம் எக்ஸைட்டட் டு ஷேர் டீடைல்ஸ் அபவுட் அண்ட் அப்கமிங் ட்ரைனிங் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆன் இன்டெக்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் வர்ச்சுவல் லேப்ஸ் இன் டீச்சிங் லேர்னிங் ஃபேஸ் த்ரீ ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் பை சிஐஇடி என்சிஆர்டி த மெயின் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் டு எனேபிள் டீச்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் லேர்னர்ஸ் டு எஃபெக்டிவ்லி இன்டெக்ரேட் வர்ச்சுவல் லேப்ஸ் இன் டு டீச்சிங் லேர்னிங் ப்ராசஸ் ப்ரொமோட்டிங் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஷியல் லேர்னிங் The training emphasis purpose drive on use of virtual labs pedagogical strategies and self paced learning approaches to foster critical thinking and problem solving skills next program schedule the training will be conducted online from 16th to 26th december 2024 daily from 10 am to 11 am key resources virtual labs will be explored including simulations animations and self assessment tools to enhance learning through interactive and engaging experience next who can participate this program this training program organized by ciet ncrt is designed to bring together a diverse group of individuals passionate about education it is open to students principals vice principals teacher teacher educators parents administrators and anyone interested in enhancing their understanding of ICT in education now let's talk about the schedule the 7 days online training on integration of virtual labs in teaching learning phase 3 from 16th to 26th december 2024 from 10 am to 11 am you can attend the training live streamed on the ncrt official youtube channel at youtube.com slash ncrt official additionally the sessions will be telecast live on the following platform pm e vidya channels dd free dish channel dish tv channel jio tv mobile app now let me share the program schedule in this training on day 1 we'll explore virtual lab need perspective and scope Day 2 will cover virtual lab as a teaching learning tool for biology. On day 3 we'll dive into virtual lab as teaching learning tool for physics. Day 4 will focus on virtual lab as a teaching learning tool for chemistry. Day 5 will explore virtual lab as a teaching learning tool for language. Day 2 will cover virtual lab as a teaching learning tool for computer science finally on day 7 we'll examine virtual lab as a teaching learning tool for mathematics next let's go over how to register you can either scan the qr code displayed on the screen or click the registration link available in the description box below once you do that the registration form will appear for you to fill out Now that the registration form is open let me guide you through the process this is the registration form for integration of learning labs in teaching and learning phase 3 type your email id next select your state next click the next button select your title type your name it should be block letters select your age type your 10 digit mobile number select your profession next if you are teacher select the level of choose a level of teaching next how did you come to know about this training select any one from this next if you have attended virtual lab previously you have to select yes otherwise you have to select no next if you have contributed in the creation of any virtual lab you have to select yes otherwise you have to select no next have you attended any training previously regarding this integration of virtual lab means you have to click yes otherwise you have to click no next if you have marked s yes for the previous question means you have to uh, enter the title of the training which you have attended 
next you have to click the yes i agree at last you have to click the submit button we will see the certification process for participants for those interested in receiving a certificate please take note of the following steps first you will need to join the online course that will be launched on the diksha portal the course link will be updated on the event page by 7 pm on the last day of the training this course will remain open until march 30 2025 participants must complete all five videos in the course after that you will need to take the final assessment which you can attempt up to 3 times to earn your certificate you must score 70% r above on the final assessment once you meet this requirement you can access your certificate directly on your diksha profile page please allow 15 to 20 days to receive your certificate any query any query mail to ciet ncrt at diksha.training at ciet.nic.in or call to the display number finally using the following qr code to send the feedback all principals and heads of cbse affiliated schools are encouraged to share this information and motivate all teachers to participate if you found this information valuable don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below thank you